So, and we can pretty much, I think we can book Sasaki. What about Willie Adamas? Is he going to be a Dodger, do you think, or do you think he lands somewhere else? I think there's a good chance. I, I, you know, a lot of teams, I mean, you can go back to the Marlins that won two World Series and, and disbanded the team the next winter. You know, I think the way the Dodgers are are constituted, they will winning a World Series like they just did and the emotion that came with it and the parade and the entire experience, that just fuels those guys. That just makes them want to continue to do it over and over again. And the people I've talked to in the last week, I mean, they that's the mindset. So this is not going to be a step back. This is not going to be, hey, let's rest on our laurels. Hey, you know, we can we can ride this way for a little while. No, it's it's about another one and then another one and then another one. That's and, exactly and that's what I've been about. saying. That's a, it's crazy. That's what I've been saying. They have they know that their rivals to the north the last decade won three of five. And they heard all about, oh, you guys can't win the big one. You won, we won three of five. We won, you know, Giants won three of five. You guys get in, you can't win. I think the Dodgers, not just thinking about repeating, they're thinking about three peating. And oh, I don't have any maybe doubt. maybe becoming like the twenty the nineteen twenties Yankees where they win four or five in a row. Yep. Or the forty nine to fifty three Yankees too. Yeah. 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 I mean, this is, you don't get this type of situation that often where you have three superstars that are not just superstars, but they're great people and they love what they're doing. And, you know, I've said Freddie Freeman, I mean, he's the type of guy that, you know, nothing gets him out of the lineup. I mean, he missed that that high ankle sprain had to be pretty bad for him to take a day off or two in the playoffs. Yes. But the fact is he got himself well. He wins the MVP. And, you know, I'm not a Dodger fan, but I definitely was happy for Freddie because as what he went through with his son Max and in the in the and then, you know, we all know his story. If you know Freddie Freeman's story, losing his mother as a 10 year old boy very close to his mother and you see his closest with his dad and just being the type of guy he is for him to be able to come through that way. uh, You know, if anybody had to do it, I'm glad it was Freddie because I'm, I root for the player. I mean, I I'm, you know, I'm a diehard giants fan, but as I get older, I, I now root more for the players a lot just because, you know, you don't want to see anybody fail, really. It, you know, but when guys that are good guys and they've done the work and they come through, it's good to see. So I think the fact that they have these guys and it's a limited time, it can cap, it can close quickly the door. So they've got those three guys. And if they can add another superstar or two, like you said, Ned, they're not thinking, oh, we got our one. We finally got the monkey off our backs. We don't have the 2020 people to talk about with no parade, 60 games. We got a, a you know first full season World Series since 88. Now we can sit back. No, they want to <laughs> they want to just like you said, the 49 through 53 Yankees, they would love to have that record. Yeah. Or the or the 98. Yankees for yeah three in a row until yeah. you get to the the Diamondback series yeah yeah they almost did four right yeah they did what ninety six seven and eight ninety six ninety eight ninety nine two thousand yeah that was yeah and they lost in two thousand to the D backs right yeah two thousand one so, they lost to the D backs yeah 